exodus Searching for euphoria Judging through the mud to find the present No ignoring us Got 20,000 deep up in the street Like we some warriors My mama told me never bow your head Whoa. I feel glorious, glorious Got a chance to start again I was born for this, born for this It's who I am, I could have again I made it through the In the 2019 season, the Gators welcomed their newest teammate, Sophia, in July. <laughs> Sophia's strength and heart drove the Gators through any adversity they would face throughout the year. The team traveled to Jacksonville for their preseason outing, an opportunity to bond off the court. The Gators began play in the 2019 season with some gutsy wins on the road, defeating two teams who would later make the NCAA tournament. Her serve is a good one too as Montserrat will dump it! Marley Montserrat! And that block by Paige Hammonds closes it out for the Gators. The squad faced adversity after dropping two matches to top 10 opponents, but did not hold their heads, using it as an opportunity to grow and get better. The team did just that, going on a nine match win streak, including victories over in-state rival Florida State, as well as picking up two league wins. Right side, Deja Williams is blocked, and there's Morgan Greer with the block to end the match. The Gators once again had to overcome obstacles after dropping a tough five-set battle with Kentucky in Lexington. But the team bounced back even stronger. And that'll do it. Florida wins set three, 25-18, and wins the match. Down 9-3 in the fifth set. Hall into the cross court. And Florida comes out of nowhere. The third set goes Florida's way. And Hammonds puts it away. Lauren Dooley carries it to end the match. Number 13, Florida wins in four sets here at home. That strong bounce back was apparent on the court, with the Gators winning 10 straight matches, six of which were on the road. Florida Gators are going to make noise in the volleyball world. None of those matches showed the grit and growth of this team better than the five-set win at ranked Missouri. Tigers seven in the Gators four. Florida eight and one in conference play, trying to win their seventh straight. Hammonds receives Montserrat. Left side hall, swing off the block, and it's a kill for Thayer Hall. Silence in Columbia. The Gators come on the road and pick up a massive top 25 win to stay in the front of the pack of the SEC standings. So Florida prevails in the fifth set. November 15th was not just another SEC match for this squad. It was Pediatric Cancer Awareness Night, an opportunity to honor teammate Sophia. Her smile and strength helped Florida to a 3-0 win over LSU that night. It's been heaven sent, and I mean, the level of love and support that they've shown us, and mainly the mighty Sophia has been um, just beyond anything I could have ever asked for. The Gators and Wildcats once again battled in a tight five-set contest, with Kentucky coming out ahead. The team could have hung their heads, 
but they came out of that match even stronger, ready to finish the season on a run. Florida did just that, closing out the regular season with four straight wins, including a dramatic five-set victory over Texas A&M on Senior Day. That win cemented the team's 24th SEC Championship and third league championship for our senior class. These Gators were not done yet, securing the 10th overall seed during the NCAA Tournament Selection Show, earning hosting rights for the first and second rounds. Florida drew Alabama State in the first round, defeating the Hornets in straight sets. With a trip to the regional semifinal on the line, the Gators showed up and showed out, defeating UCF in three sets to earn the team's 26th trip to the regional semifinal. The Gators boarded a plane to Austin, Texas to face a familiar foe in seventh ranked Minnesota. And Rachel Kramer does it with a tip. Back to back there, Hall. Look at Mia Sokolowski coming up big. They still get it to Kramer. It might have ended too soon, but I can't say enough good things about this team, what they have accomplished. This group did, um, did did as much improving over a course of a season uh, as I've ever been around. And, and the only thing that, that surpasses the improvement is the character. And it has been an awesome ride. Just wish it had lasted a little longer. You know, I always said that they were, um, they embraced the Gator lifestyle the best. I mean, they are true, they believe the orange and blue. And it was from the time they committed all the way through, you just like, you just, uh, you could see it in all, in how they approached academics, how they approached volleyball, is they just loved being a Gator. And as a coach, that's, you know, could you ask for anything more? I don't think so. What will be remembered most about this 2019 team is the growth they showed from the beginning of the season to the end. They grew both as players and as people on their way to another SEC championship. The senior class of Rachel, Allie, Morgan, and Chanel will be greatly missed.